it, it really just blew my mind the fact that nobody's it's, it's not like in the news like it's not a mental health crisis hello everybody welcome back to asperger's growth i am your lovely commentator today mr thomas henley and today i'm back on youtube after my long journey into the why is the sorry there's a video still on I'm not doing. hello everybody <laughs> just watching some youtube so i have been doing my exams for the past month and a bit it's my final year at university so this means that i am finny i am finit i have finished the exam period and my my university life now i'm finished all is good, all is well. Uh, just coming back to tell you that I'm, you know, I'm sorry for not uploading as much as I really should have done. I've been attacked by 20 miniature pit bulls. I can tell that it's had an impact on my channel every time I do this kind of thing, so I really need to sort of get myself a, you know, like a, a few videos that I've pre-made and then upload them throughout the exam period. Should probably have done that, but it's, it's over now. Um, and I have the summer to work on my youtube channel and work on some other stuff so I'm, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what i did in my final year as far as the final year project and my little other thing that i was working on during the my time filming and stuff for my project as you may know i do i did the course biomedical sciences at manchester university of manchester i'm a clinical psychologist I'm going to mention it every chance that I get. For the final year project, they do a research thing in like the lab, and they do some do some research. And I wasn't I wasn't really feeling that because I've already done a year in industry, so I've already done a year researching in Thailand, and then found it <coughs> didn't find it that great. So I decided to approach my supervisor and say, "Hey, look, I don't want to do this. I want to do something else." And they said, oh, well, we have these e-learning projects where you do some teaching resources or you can do a science media project, which is just a broad sort of range of things that you can do uh, to do with science. And I did a bit of soul searching and um, considering I'm, I'm on this sort of path to raising awareness of autism, I decided to do a documentary on something that, you know, is quite close to my heart. And... I decided to do it on mental health and autism. Okay, so I'll tell you something that's so cool. Life is horrible and tragic and bitter. You have to be willing to be a fool. Um, I basically went to three main people, special needs teacher, a coach who works with autistics, and a guy who leads one of the charities, Salford Autism, and a bunch of other people, about five, five other people, um, autistic people giving their accounts of their experiences with relationships and mental health problems um, at school isolation bullying uh, we talked a lot about that stuff and I, I compiled it over the course of this six months into a full-length documentary about 40 minutes long and I, I had no prior video production skills they gave me a few bits of equipment I wasn't really sure how to work them it took me a while to get to grips with that and I'd never really sort of professionally edited something and I didn't realize you had to put so much work into it and considering I'm using a new software, I'm using Final Cut Pro, it's very complicated. Going from iMovie to Final Cut Pro, iMovie on the iPad, in, in fact. <laughs> You're useless, You're whack! Um, and it was, it was very difficult, um, but I, I managed to produce this, I think, pretty good thing considering I haven't had all this experience with media and stuff, so I am very proud of it. I'm the sort of catalyst that, that got me to, to do this was these statistics that I found on the website. Now, I, I realise greatly the extent at which mental health is a problem with autistics, bullying, social isolation, but there was, there was other stuff as well. It was the, the statistics that I found was, were absolutely horrific. And it, it surprised me. It, it really just blew my mind the fact that nobody's, it's, it's not like in the news, like it's not a mental health crisis. Eight times likelihood of 
been linked to suicidal thoughts and acts. One in three autistics with severe mental health difficulties, unemployment, bullying, social isolation. So what you're saying is that <laughs> that sucks. It's really not great. Um, so that this, that's the reason why I did this this documentary because it just it seemed like a very important subject. It's going to be uploaded on my YouTube channel at some point, and I'm just waiting it for to, for it to be marked and for, to get the green light for me to put, post it on my YouTube channel. Um, but good things could come from that, and I'm, I'm very hopeful for it. Another thing I was doing throughout my six months is that. One of my mates knows a media student from Leeds and he wanted to do a documentary himself um, on something to do with sport. Um, my friend was one of his mates and um, she she sort of recommended me to do it. Um, and I thought, I went along with, with it. It took us a while to email and stuff, but we had a Skype call and um, said, yeah, yeah, let's do it, let's do all of it. So we started, you know, going about working on our projects sort of side by side because we wanted to interview people who are very similar. It's, it was only like a few weeks in that I realised, I asked him, you know, because I was thinking there would be other people that he's working with and I was thinking, why is he, why is he doing so much, so much, so many videos with me and he's not talking about other people and he's, he just, he said that I was the only person who was doing it on this documentary so put a lot of work into it. I think both of us have made a really good video. I haven't seen his yet, but I definitely think it's going to be quite high quality and great. He's got all the equipment from the media section of his university. It's not that great at mine. But yeah, so that's what I've been doing these past six months. Doing exams, doing my documentary, working on another documentary. So uh, I hope that that's enough for you to convince you that I'm not sort of slacking i am trying to do my best and so you'll have your specific reasons but under that there'll be some other reasons and under that there'll be some other reasons and under that there'll be some other reasons and i really just haven't had that much time to upload on my youtube channel but over this summer i'm definitely going to be working on it as much as i can be expecting videos very frequently um, because that's my plan be expecting that i'm gonna put a lot more work into promoting my channel I'm going to start up a website where I'm going to do some blogs and going to sort of talk about my experiences and stuff and my observations and theories um, about autism and about mental health and just daily life. And I'm also going to try and put together a proper series of videos um, as sort of like a life coach type sort of thingy. So if you, if you imagine you pay like 30, 40 quid and you get all these these videos um, yeah I mean evil capitalists where I sort of take you through the things that I worked that I struggled with and how I worked on them and how I got better at them social communication getting a relationship in friends any things that we struggle with as autistics but also some of the ways that we can sort of work with what we've got and the strengths that we've had so that you can better do well at life <laughs> Sounds very patronizing, I'm sorry about that. Give you a bit of advice for it and, you know, show you that you can do stuff and you can be a very f fulfilled and strong person. Um, you just need a bit of bit of, bit of help with it. I mean, it is difficult, but I'm, I'm looking forward to that and I hope that it's going to be received quite well. It's going to be, they're all going to be uploaded onto the website, so it's not going to be much of a YouTube thing, but I probably will include some clips and stuff on my YouTube channel. So lots of exciting things coming up this summer. Um, thank you so much for anyone who's stick, stick it around, stick it around on my channel, um, despite me not uploading as much. Uh, but thank you very much. Uh, if you haven't already checked out my social media pages, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Asperger's Growth, um, all of them, so it's pretty easy. If you want to find me, just pipe, put in ass at Asperger's Growth. You find it. Well, thank you very much. I hope my apology is enough for your wonderful viewers of mine and subscribers. I'm very tired still, not gonna lie. 
Um, I'm trying to squeeze out a video today even though I'm just comatosing for most of the past few days that I've been off. I'm gonna be fat and really unhealthy and half dead in five years. <laughs> trying to adjust to it. Um, but I'm looking forward to, to what's gonna come up of it. Come up with it. It's a good phrase. Not a good phrase. I don't know. Anyway, see you later, guys. Hope you're doing well. Love you. Need to find a good hand signal to send us off. Kawaii, doesn't he? See you later. God, that was cringy. You're such a horrid creature in your very core that it would be a moral violation for you to propagate.